Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good week, guys. It was a good week here. It's now my weekend, Monday and Tuesday. Um, yeah, it was a good week. I mean, clone wise, it was an okay week. Um, what did I wear? Well, I went with my seven dollar five from Marshalls or Winners. I can't remember. Is it Marshalls or Winners. Marshalls, OP, Ocean Pacific, blue for him, eau de parfum, um, yeah, there's a the box, guys, it's, um, you know it's gonna be aquatic, obviously, Ocean Pacific, and called blue, and the box, with the wave, and the water, and whatnot, ooh, um, there's the bottle, just kind of the same thing as the front, it's got a sticker on the back of it, Comes through the front. All your information is there. Um, now, why did I pick this up? A couple reasons, actually. Where's my other bottle? I don't know what I did with it. It must be out in the other room. Hold on a second. I'm going to check. All right, I'm back. Well, the first reason I got it is when I was young, and I mean... 10, 11, 12, no older than 13. OP, Ocean Pacific, was a pretty popular, and they're only popular for them. You know, you had the OP body gloves. They were pretty popular. They only seemed to be popular for about a year, maybe two. And uh, then they were kind of still, you were still cool if you wore it, but they weren't polo, you know? Like, <laughs> So, so that was one of the reasons I bought it. The second reason I bought it is I bought this perfume or cologne or fragrance, whatever. OP Blend. Years and years ago. I hate this bottle. It's all starting to fall apart and everything. It's so old. <laughs> it's got crack in the whatever. This is rubber or silicone or something. So Bust at the top. But this shit was pretty good. Still pretty good. Yeah, a bit of a licorice vibe to it, but a very light, another kind of, I don't want to call it aquatic, but a but a summer scent. Um, maybe I'll view this at some point in time. This goes for a lot of money now. I mean, not ridiculous amount of money, but you know, I'm seeing it for $50, $60, $70. I'm sure you can get it cheaper, but on eBay it's going for, I'm like, eh, no. But that's not the reason I bought this one. I just, I liked this one. OP was big when I was a kid for for a minute and I figured fuck it, it was seven dollars. So I bought it. And um was I disappointed? No, no. I mean and another reason I bought it were the notes. There's a couple not notes that I've never heard of being used before, but don't get used a lot. I'll give you the notes. Top is cardamom, citrus. Star fruit, which is one of the notes I don't really hear a lot of, and uh, rosewood. Um, mid is tarragon, which is another note. I've seen a few fragrances used, but not a lot. Um, sage and cedar. <clears throat> then saffron, which I've heard of a, quite a few fragrances used, but it's usually the saffron is usually in a darker scent, you know, a more noir scent. But saffron, amber, sycamore, maple. I didn't know there was a sycamore maple. So probably just a woody fragrance. Or woody, you know what I mean. And musk. Now all the, them notes, being OP. Um, I didn't expect a whole lot. Uh, but them notes just kind of caught my attention at the store. And I was like, well, star fruit, tarragon, saffron, sycamore maple. I mean, this is... I thought it was an aquatic, but none of them notes really give you off any of the citrus. Just generic citrus, I guess. And the cardamom can kind of give it a tea vibe. Um, so I was like, man, this is going to be kind of different. And it is for the first, like, half hour. I'm going to I'm gonna say that's the star fruit, citrus and star fruit coming out. You can smell a wee bit of cardamom, but, I mean, it's just giving it a slight, like I said, tea kind of vibe. Um, but for the first half hour, it's, it's, 
it's it's good. It, it's okay. Um, the whole scent is okay. Um, you know, but a half hour into it, 20 minutes, half hour into it, it kind of just starts turning into a... A soft wood, musky, light musk, very light musk, kind of aquatic scent. Generic. But it's okay. It was $7. So I'm not complaining about that. It's, it's pleasant. It's easy to wear. It lasts pretty good for, for an aquatic. I got about six hours out of it. Um, projected pretty good for about an hour. Especially the first 20 minutes, half hour, the citrus and that star fruit just kind of pop. Um, very, very like, that's a dry down. Let's get you the, the opening. Sprayer's not so good, but I mean, again, it's got to keep in mind it's $7. It's not bad, but it's not great. Um, let that wear off for scissors. Like most cheap fragrances, the first 30 seconds or so kind of smells like hairspray. Actually, it smells like a hairspray I used when I had hair back in the day. Um, kind of like, uh, it's called Salon Selectives. I don't know. I think that's what it was called. Kind of smells like that. That's starting to die down now. Yeah, you really pick up that star fruit. Or I'm assuming star fruit because there's a note I've never really, it's a fruity, slightly sweet fruity note. And since I'm guessing it's a star fruit, I don't know, maybe it's a citrus. But I'm picking up the citrus with it, so yeah. Do you smell it from here? Like I mean, it's it's pretty strong, Whew. but only for like twenty minutes, half hour. Then it kind of, you know, it doesn't really become a skin scent, but it kind of sits pretty close. Um, this is about four hours into it here. And you're picking up, like I said, it kind of just goes into a a light wood, light musky, somewhat aquatic, even a tiny bit sweet. Maybe that's from the amber. But this is just your, your everyday aquatic. I mean, it's it is what it is. Forms okay. It's pleasant. You know, I'd put it on par with, <laughs> or not on par, but in the same category as like. You know, pretty much any other aquatic, really. Chrome. Any one of the Chrome Flankers. Nautica Voyage. Nautica Blue Sail. Any other Nautica. You know, the Bulgari. A Bulgari Aqua was quite a bit better than these, though. So, um, in quality-wise. Um, but, yeah, it's that kind of scent. It's just perfect. I'd say perfect if you're looking for... Well, if you're young, you don't have a lot of money. That's understandable. You know, you're working part-time minimum wage job if you're working at all. And you want to smell good in the summer. You don't have a lot of money to spend. You don't can't afford, you know, Explorer or one of the 475 Invictus or Invictus clones. Or one of the 291 Aqua de Geo or Aqua de Geo clones. Um, <laughs> this will work just fine. I mean, it's. Girls are going to like it. I know they like it because I got compliments on it. It's funny how sometimes the cheapest shit gets you the most attention. Girls love... I shouldn't, I'm generalizing, sorry. But in general, girls really like that. <sighs> Clean, fresh, aquatic smell that a lot like. I think that's why they sell so well, too. Guys know that. I know that. That's why I got so many of them. It's not my favorite sense. I think I've talked about that before. Not a big aquatic kind of fan, but I wear them when I go out because the ladies love them. Um, yeah, it's a compliment factor through the roof. You get like half a dozen compliments. Girls of all ages. Smells nice. Smells great. Really like it. Seven dollars. And it doesn't even smell... I won't say it smells expensive. I'm not going to say that, but it doesn't smell cheap. It smells like it should be more than $7. In line with them $20, $30 aquatics, you know what I mean? Like a Nautica Voyage 
or uh, the chrome flankers and stuff. It smells like this. Which brings me to my next point. Don't overpay for this. I was online. I seen a couple of websites. A couple were selling it cheap. 15, 20 bucks. Some of them were selling 40, 50 bucks. Anything over 20, you're overpaying. You can get chrome. Uh, let's see how many chromes I got there. Chrome, chrome legend, chrome spirit, chrome. <laughs> Half a dozen over there. They're all under $20. Um, not like Voyage, you can get for $20 or $30. Um, this is more where chrome, I just want to kind of give you, is more of a, what I would call like a, almost a metallic, and hence the word chrome, scent and, and chrome united. Um, this would be more like chrome uh, legend. Not as sweet. This doesn't have any sweet apple or anything. But the star fruit gives it a bit of sweetness at the top. It falls more in the line with that aquatic type scent. It's a little sweet. Might even be a little heavy at first. But dries really nice. Uh, works really well. I had We had a couple. We had a, we're in a heat wave warning right now. It's funny for us this early. Global warming. Um, it's worked really well the last few days. I can't. I don't have anything else I'll say about it, guys. It, it performs okay. Smells good. You're going to smell clean. You're going to smell fresh. You're going to smell slightly sweet. $7. Now, I'm not saying go out there and buy this. Um, again, I'd rather have things like the Chrome and whatnot and not like a Voyage. But if you can find it like I found it for 5 to $10, it's easily a easy, easy buy and an easy wear. You can... Spray it on and go and not worry about it, you know? So, yeah, that is it, guys. I, I just don't have a whole lot to say about it. Um, it's good. $7. Real good for $7. Um, next week, I'm going to wear, uh, depending on the heat wave, if this heat wave gets worse, then I'm going to wear something citrusy and, and or aquatic -y. I guess it's, it's. But if not, I'm going to wear the... Uh, <laughs> the guess I got. So we'll see. Alright guys. Peace, love, be good to each other.